Uh, and ow, my cat's biting my foot. Moosey, stop it. It's not playtime. And I could do this all day. This stuff is amazing. This makes my voice go, uh, that's so funny. Okay, I'm done being stupid. My nose is like so dry and I don't know from like, like, I don't know, but it is, I don't know. What's up? It's me, Britt, and today I'm here with you to do uh, a natural beauty. And the reason I decided it's because I really don't like my freckles, but I am embracing them today. So, uh, natural beauty, and it is minimal face makeup, minimal makeup in general, and it embraces my natural beauty. And for, I'm sorry, my nose is so runny, and I'm getting sick, so please ignore me like going like this or sniffling. I, I apologize. But um, yeah, so it embraces my freckles or any of you freckle faces out there. And um, nothing against freckles. I love freckles and other people. I just want to get that straight right now. I'm not dissing or putting any of you guys down. I just don't like my freckles. I don't like freckles on me. I've always wanted a clean face and I I don't know. I always try to hide them. Freckles seem to be kind of in right now, and everyone always says like, "Oh, I love your freckles. You should show them more," and all of that. But um, so I'm kind of taking them up on that, and I am doing it for once. So um, a lot of you may not know if I have freckles or not because I always cover them with my makeup. But if you can see. I have tons of them and I'm wearing makeup and you can still see them. Right now they're actually very subtle freckles because I haven't been in the sun, I haven't done bed tanning or anything, so they're not as like apparent as normal. But I refuse to put makeup on them to make them darker because I have them, so that'd be weird for me. But if you want to make yourself have freckles that you don't have, I totally get that if you want them because I want, you know, clean skin without freckles, so I get it if everyone wants what they don't have. So no shame in making yourself some faux freckles, but um, I'm just not going to because I have them and I don't feel the need to make them darker. So that's about it. This is going to be just a face tutorial. My eye makeup spin was done before I made this video, but I will put all the eye makeup I use below and all the face products I'm using, even though I'm naming them throughout the video. So you guys also, um, if you're interested, interested, if I can talk in purchasing them or recreating this look with the exact products, you know which ones to use. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you freckle faces out there embrace your beauty because everyone should feel pretty with or without makeup. You don't need to hide something you were born with and that's something I'm learning right now. And actually after I did this look, I kind of love this look because it's so natural and very like, I don't know, it's just nice. It's a very nice look. So, um, I hope that you guys like this. If you like minimal makeup, this is definitely going to be for you. If not, I would probably stop watching because this is basically no makeup at all on your face. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and let's get into it, guys. Yeah, so this is a tutorial. Like, I don't even really wear this makeup myself um, because like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't like my freckles. I try to hide them, but since other people tend to like them and freckles happen to be in right now, I'll do it because I have them. Like people are even like putting fake, fake, I can't talk, fake freckles on themselves. So I will try to do my best to make them apparent. My freckles are really light, like I said in the beginning of the video, so just bear with me. I refuse to make them any darker since I have them, um, but yeah, this is no fake tanner. This is as pale as I get. So just bear with me and let's see how this turns out. I already have my eye makeup done as you see because this is more about the face, not the eyes. You can make, you can pair this face makeup with like 
any eye. So I just happened to pick like a cat eye and like and my brows are already done. So I'm just gonna start off with primer. And I guess like the whole, you know, freckle look is based on radiance and dewy and natural. So I mean that goes with what I, I like usually, so that happens to work out. And this primer, well it's not really a primer, but we make it a primer. It's so good for being like dewy and radiant and all that jazz. So I I mean I prefer to use this anyways with any foundation or anything really. We're not even gonna be using a foundation today, which again is not really my style, but whatever. Let's try new things, people. Alright, we're good. Oh, I say this every time, but the stuff just smells so good. Now that we are all primed, I am going to take my CC. This is my lightest and sheerest coverage for my face. And it is my Chanel CC Cream in 20 Beige. And you can use any CC cream, BB cream, or any really, really sheer foundation for this. This just happens to be the lightest I have. And I know it's, you don't need to spend as much on Chanel. It was, you know, a stupid buy, but whatever. And I'm just taking that on the back of my hand and taking my damn beauty blender and going like that. And I'm dabbing this in from like my cheekbones down because most of my freckles are here and since they are very light I don't want to put more coverage on that. Did you hear that coverage? <laughs> oh I'm so stupid. <laughs> it just gives a nice or the skin your skin a nice glow and I'm putting enough for each like section on my hand and then doing it so I'm not wasting product or putting too much on. Again, just taking whatever's left on my beauty blender and just dabbing them. Tip on my nose, my nosy. And then I'm just gonna do my forehead and I'm gonna focus it on the outer parts because I have barely any freckles over there. And on the top. And then just whatever is left in the middle. <sighs> there we go. Okay. And since we're going for that dewy, luminous, radiance glow, um, I am also going to try to stay away from powders because powders, you know, take that away. But this is going to be the hard part. For concealer, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair, I think it is. Yeah. I don't even know how to apply light concealer, so since if you watch my videos, I apply it like foundation. I am just making little dots where under my eyes are. I'm not even doing my nose or anything. This is so weird. Okay. And I am just starting. This is just to brighten it up. Let me zoom you in a little. There we go. This is like the sheerest one I had. So I'm working with basically medium to fuller coverage and trying to make it sheer. Focuses. See my little fracks? Huh. They're not cute. I don't know why people think they're cute. I'm sorry if you have freckles and you like them. I just don't like mine. I like them on other people. That's the weird part. So, I don't know. So, since I'm trying to stay away from powders, but I want to warm up my face just like a little bit, I'm taking my Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Bronze 3 because it is, um, I know it says matte, but it's a very sheer, like kind of glowy. I like it bronzer and I'm just gonna take it on an angle brush. I'm not exactly contouring. I'm just putting this on my cheeks just to warm my face up and I'm just blending it upwards. 
I'm not, like, you don't even need to use an angled brush. I just grabbed one. You could use like a little powder brush or blush brush, whatever you have. It's just to warm this area up. Do a little bit on top here just to, you know, connect the colors. You don't want to just have color on one part of your face and not the rest. Guys, uh, why am I getting sick? Do you hear that? I'm like, it's so gross. Why? Now that that's done, this is another weird part for me. I'm going to do like kind of a bold, not bold blush, but maybe actually, I don't know. This is my BH Cosmetics blush palette. Like how pretty these colors are, by the way. Let's just take a moment for that. But um, I would usually do more of like a natural colored blush, but I'm kind of feeling this hot pink up here because I'm gonna put, the, oh wow, I just touched it and it was like, bam. Do you see how like, just a little bit. Let's see. Eh. We're gonna blend that in. That's too much color for me. Brushing it up towards the temples. This is so pink. These are pigmented, guys. I did a little bit with the bronzer brush. I didn't put any product, but whatever's left, just blending that in. Okay. This is so weird. I don't wear makeup like this. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't, I forgot. Oh. I remembered. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go grab it. Un momento. Sup, sup. I'm back. Okay, so we're gonna use my broken, yet again, Becca Skin Shimmering Skin. Er, <laughs> I can't read either, it turns out. Okay, so this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Yeah, Opal. Mm -mm, I didn't want that much. Okay, okay. I'm taking a baby bit and I'm going to put it on my beauty blender on the very, very tippy tip. And I'm going to just put it on the top of my cheekbone. Some people like to highlight just like right here. I like to highlight kind of down here and all the way up. So you can highlight however you usually do, but I'm gonna highlight my normal way and do this. Doing this with cat eye already done. I mean, I thought it was gonna be a little, I mean, it's not easy cause you don't wanna mess it up, but I thought it would be a little harder. I technically, I kinda, not technically, I kinda lean towards the cat eye with this look because it is so natural. It just gives it something to like, I don't know. It just like gives it something, something since it is so natural. Um, I just said that twice in the exact same way, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead and Cupid's bow. Some people that are oily probably won't want to do this if you're oily in your T-zone because you're adding attention to it, but I am normal to dry, so I do like to do that to my forehead. And then I'm just gonna take whatever's left and put it on my Cupid's bow. Now that we are done with that part, I am going to take my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. Ooh, such a long name. Um, it has four different shades. If, there we go. One's like a pink, one's a bluish purple, or blue, and then there's a purplish, and there's a white. I'm gonna try and mix the white and the pink putting it on a big fan brush and I'm just gonna dust that over where I put the rest of that illuminator. Now that I'm kind of like almost done with this look, I kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and by the way, at the end of this video, my hair is going to come down and I did nothing to it today. I, it looks horrible, like horrible. I'm telling you, so don't judge me. Today's all natural, natural makeup, <laughs> natural hair. I'm just digging that natural vibe. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that just made me sound like such a dumbass. Okay. Now to finish off this unnatural look, 
I'm gonna do like a natural lip, guys. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. Let me zoom you out. Oh, that's too far. Okay. So, this is my go-to lip anyways. Actually, I'm gonna put some wet balm on. My lips are so dry. Okay, so my nose, my lips, my face is extremely dry. Like, everything. It might be because I'm not drinking a lot of water, but also because the weather change. Chicago's not the friendliest thing to your skin and your hair and basically your body during fall and winter, so. What a surprise, not. Now that we're all hydrated, I'm going to my go-to lip. And it happens to be a nude. Literally, I saw this girl. I was on Sephora one night, couldn't sleep. And they have this like picture board, right? So I keep looking at pictures and I come back to that picture and I was like, something about this picture like, is really making me like it, but it's not her face makeup. And it was her lip. And thankfully, that was one of the things that she mentioned from Sephora. And I was like, yes, because like some of the pictures are just their eyes or their you know blush or contour or whatever. Or it could be everything. And I'm like hiccuping, burping. I don't know what that is. That's gross. I'm sorry. Um, so it ended up being her one of the things she mentioned was her lip. And it was this lip liner with the lip gloss I'm going to use. And I've used it in a video or two videos or I don't know how many already. I can tell you what it is. It is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. <laughs> the whole makeup part is shaved off. That's how much I've used. Okay. Uh, the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 1C. Like, I don't know if she found it from someone else. Probably like a YouTube person. If you know who did, like came up with this look, like, or this combo, please tell me so I can thank them. Such a perfect nude. Mm, love this color. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. Now that I've been talking about that for 20 minutes, this is a, the matching lip gloss. It's called Stolen Kisses by NARS, and it's just so good. Like, watch, ready? Like, come on. Can you find a better match of, like, a lip liner and lipstick, or a lip liner and lip gloss that's not even in the same make, like, from the same makeup brand? Like, what? That's crazy. Moose is crying to get in. Can you hear him? Okay, I have to go get him. He's crying. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. My name's Moose, and I'm the cutest kitty in the world. I'm a big mama's boy. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> it looked buzz on, and that was such a bad idea. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, it's not coming. Kissing your cat with lip gloss on is the worst idea. Sitting here for like five minutes taking it off. <laughs> He's like rubbing up against me, sorry. I'm gonna finish off this look uh, with the Mario Badescu rose water. I don't know why I paused so long and I'm just gonna... Mm. I like drench myself in that when I use it. I told you you can't make fun of my hair because I did nothing to it. I just like brushed it out today and whatever. Yeah, that's it guys. This look is done. It's so easy. It's so fast. It's so minimal and it shows your freckles. And I'm sure if I zoom you in, yeah, my freckles, they're still visible. So yeah kind of digging it to be real um in person it kind of looks better to be honest because it's like my freckles they kind of look cute for once and i'm usually not into it but as i said like a million times but uh yeah and right now i think freckles are kind of in like i've heard so many people like say like oh no freckles are like the thing right now like show them now like while they're in style like blah blah, blah. and yeah so this is very simple. I will list all the beauty products I used below, including my eye makeup and everything I used before we did the tutorial since I did just do the face. 
if you want to know what I used. And that's about it. So I hope that you freckle lovers and you freckle wearers and you freckle faces out there like me like this tutorial. I hope it helps you. I hope it helps you embrace your natural beauty because you shouldn't have to put makeup on or hide something you're born with to feel pretty. And that's kind of the message I want to give. And yeah. So before I keep rambling and making this video any longer than it needs to be, I'm going to, there's Moose. I'm going to go and take care of this little cutie over there. Right, Moisey? You little weirdo. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas of future videos you want to see, if you have any comments, questions, anything, I really want to hear your guys' feedback. And you can follow me on Snapchat, my Instagram, I have a Facebook page, all of that. Um, I'll link it below right now. And it was also in the beginning, but just in case you didn't see it, I'll do that now. And um, yeah, if you haven't already, please hit that little red button down below that says, that, blah, 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 that says subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I would love to have you on board with my channel. And I post very frequently, so there's always new stuff to be watching. So yeah. And for the ones that have been watching, thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.